Seven pharma networks were set up across Europe to assess the impact of innovations on single crop and agro ecosystem resource use efficiency for water and nitrogen or phosphorus. Both organic and conventional systems were included across networks. The aims of these networks were to assess different innovations and their combinations against agronomic, economic, environmental criteria on both single crops and at rotational scales. Special attention was dedicated to promoting the exchange of knowledge and practices among those within the networks. These included farmers, researchers and non-governmental organisations. Linking Environment and Farming set up a network of potato farmers in the UK, made up of four farms, two in the north of England and two in the east of England, two of the UK's driest areas. These farms tested different varieties of potatoes combined with microbial inoculants with or without irrigation or phosphorus fertilisation. Trials were set up in collaboration with Newcastle University. The trials evaluated crop yields, crop quality, resource use efficiency in water and nutrients, as well as economic and environmental indicators. Here are some of the thoughts and experiences of the farmers who took part within the network. I would say we're always looking at new varieties, new ways of farming and um, different ways of doing things, which is why I got involved with this project. We do trial new varieties of potatoes that are hopefully more drought resistant and more tasty, because at the end of the day, it comes down to uh, marketing and um, my produce needs to be marketed. And if um, I can get an advantage because something sells better because it tastes better or the consumer wants it, um, obviously, I'm going to try and grow it. Well, it went, it went, it went well. It showed up some quite big, some quite um, different results, um, interesting results, um, more than I possibly thought it might have done. But um, <laughs> I'm hoping we can repeat this year. So, so do the same in the 2021 season as we did in the 2020 season um, to replicate, and um, hopefully we'll um, we'll iron out any anomalies that might have come come through. Just that it's it's doable. Putting these inoculants, putting bacteria, putting things like that in in a, in a in close proximity to a crop might affect it. You know, I mean, we we all the, the trendy thing at the minute is is to is to build soil health um, generally. You know, if we can if we can specify that exactly where we need to in in a, in a certain part of the the field. You know, in, in right around the crop we're growing, then um, it's 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 gonna it's it's got to help. See what the results bring next year. Yeah. If, if, they, if they if they chuck they chuck some good results out, like they have, you know, I say some good, some some quite big changes out this time. Then I think, yeah, yeah, anything's worth anything's worth a go. I think we learned a lot about um, doing on-farm trials first of all, and what you need in place to make them successful. So to get farmers engaged, what we need to do and. So some networks were definitely better place to just, you know, hit the ground running with the trials because they already had established networks and a good relationship with the farmers already. Um, other networks uh, had to sort of establish a network first and then do some trials. So that took a little bit more time. So, but nonetheless, we did have farmers in this, uh, you know, in our networks who'd never done this sort of thing before. And some of them really engaged and really, I think, enjoyed it and got a lot out of it. Farmers and some of the agronomists were also a bit skeptical about the potential of inoculants because of, in some cases, they have been tried in, in some of these groups or some of the farmers might have tried them before and not had success. So there was a little bit of healthy skepticism there about using the inoculants. But we what we did was we used uh, a few different um, consortiums is the word they use. So a few different consortiums of organisms that had been selected uh, by the SOLACE project. But in some cases, like in the UK potato trial, we also compared with uh, an existing inoculant that's on the market. In the UK, where uh, I have the most experience and we did quite a bit of work with inoculants, uh, we had some interesting results. So in some cases, we found there was a positive effect from the commercially available inoculant, um, particularly in conditions where uh, there was irrigation provided. So we had one farm that we think had a soil possibly not too rich in microbial organisms. Um, 
so that really responded when inoculant was added, but you also needed to add the irrigation water as well to create the optimum conditions. And then we did see a real benefit in that situation. In other situations where we had farmers with soils that were maybe healthier, higher active populations of, of organisms already, we didn't see an effect from inoculants. So it just emphasized to us, I think what we know already that is very much dependent on uh, local conditions whether or not you get a response from an added inoculant.